Hello, today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 98, verse 16. Therefore, renounce war and pro proclaim peace, and seek diligently to turn the hearts of the children to their fathers, and the hearts of the fathers to their children. Okay, so there are two, at least two wars going on. There's the wars that are sprouted by temporal circumstances, by hate, by prejudice, by defending others. And then there's a spiritual war, the war between good and evil. Good will eventually triumph, but evil is sure going to try and make everybody's lives a living hell. Now, we can't, we shouldn't renounce the war that is justified. But justification has different definitions. How can you say that the war is justified? That's up to everybody's individual definition. But we can, ren we can renounce war's evil. We can renounce the war that evil is trying to do. Because good will eventually win, and we renounce it by defending ourselves and defending our other, our fellow beings spiritually. Because Satan is very, very real. He he may only be a spirit, but he's very, very real. He and his spirits can entice families to be torn apart, people to choose poorly. His enticings have caused some of the darkest moments in history to come about just because men's hearts failed them. And when men's hearts fail, then they are vulnerable to the enticings of Satan and the angels of perdition. And they are just dark angels. I mean, I'm not sure if they're angels of perdition or if they're just evil spirits, but... They are evil spirits because the angels, the angels of perdition start with Cain. But anyway, Satan and his spirits can do enough damage, even his spirits. When men's hearts fail them, in the face of adversity, they move in for the strike. But if we proclaim peace as the atonement did, the atonement opened the way that we might be able to have peace within ourselves and then seek to help others find that peace. And if we turn to the atonement, we can seek diligently to help families come together people come together, hearts to unite and to realize their own value as well as each other's. And we shouldn't be afraid of the war on good and evil, because good will win. And we should arm ourselves accordingly with what knowledge and experience and wisdom that Heavenly Father has given us and through the opportunities that the Atonement gives us. Because people need to stand united more than ever now, or else Satan and his spirits will prey upon the vulnerabilities of failing hearts. Mortality has this strange ability to have many failing hearts, and and as hearts fail, Satan moves in for the capture. So what we need to do is seek diligently to turn our own hearts towards the Lord and towards the compassion, towards others, and then, and then Satan cannot touch us if we stand united. But it's our choice whether or not we want to seek after that peace and seek after that diligence and seek after those opportunities. Just remember, Satan is always there, always trying to pounce on our vulnerabilities, and we need to be ready. 
And if we wish, Heavenly Father can always be there. Ask Him, Christ, and protect us and give us strength. Which side will we choose? We have to choose one. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.